Hello and welcome to our next video. In this lesson, we're going to get Bootstrap. Since we deleted it before, we're gonna go out and get it again. But this way we can see where it comes from and also be able to work with it on our own terms. So go to getbootstrap.com, essentially. I typed in get bootstrap. It's the first thing that turns up. And that's where we're going to get Bootstrap. Now at the time of this video, Bootstrap is currently on version 3.3.6 and it will remain there. However, version four, is coming out at some point there. They've been working on it for about a year. And with that, they aren't going to break 3.3.6. So you could still use that going forward even after four comes out. So let's go ahead and click the download. There's a lot of stuff on Bootstrap here. We're gonna start the download of Bootstrap and get that going. And I'm just gonna show you up at the top, this Git Bootstrap has a lot of information for you. And you can see that all the components that you want to use with Bootstrap are available here. You can go out and find you know, how to work with the grid. You can also go and find um, the JavaScript components for tabs and things like that uh, that you want to work with as you need to. So you can see you know, Bootstrap comes with a lot of really nice things built into it. Also, I do have a course available on Bootstrap. Um, that's available that you could look at as well if you're interested in learning more about using Bootstrap as a front-end web framework. And this is a framework that essentially wraps CSS and a little bit of JavaScript to make your pages a little easier to use with and responsive. So our download is done. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Let's just go ahead and extract it. And then what I'm going to do is note that inside of here we have a fonts folder, a CSS, and a JS folder. So we're going to want to move things over from that into our library folder for JS. And what we want is bootstrap.min.js. We don't need the other ones for what we're doing. You could bring over npm.js if you'd like. This bootstrap.js is just the non-minified version of that. What you'll see in a future video, we're actually gonna end up overriding this, but this is the Bootstrap JS framework that gets us going. We also need to get some CSS going here, so let's go to our contact web CSS. Right now it's empty. Let's grab bootstrap min.css and move that over, or copy it over. Bootstrap theme min, copy that over. And you can see that there's maps as well. I'm not gonna bring the maps over, um, so we're just going to have the default CSSs living in our folders. And we also want to take a look at the fonts. We do have fonts already on our contact web that were built in. You can see most of these are the same. There is one extra one. So what I'm going to do is just copy these over and overwrite. So I'll just copy and replace all of them. And that will make sure that I have the latest version along with this distribution. And that's all I need to do to get Bootstrap onto my machine. We need to go into our project and bring those files in. So let's right click and say add existing. And here we need to go to our CSS folder and we need to bring in both of these. And we'll add those. We see that bootstrap min and bootstrap theme min are now in our CSS directory. Into our fonts, we already have four there, but what I'm gonna do is just grab all five and have it overwrite as well. So we'll go to our fonts and just grab all five of these and add them and it just adds the one that was missing and essentially makes sure that we have references to the others, so we're good there. And for the library here, we're gonna add in the Bootstrap library from JS. And that's there as well. Oops, for some reason it didn't take, let's go ahead and try again. Let's just add existing item, Bootstrap min add. There we go. I don't know what happened there, but we got it now, so we're good. All right, so that wraps up getting Bootstrap on our machine. Now again, we're still not quite ready to run because we haven't wired any of this up, and we need to do a few more things, and then we'll wire that up in a few more videos down the road, and we'll have this thing up and running in no time. So that wraps up this video on getting Bootstrap. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.